Okay, um, this video, I told you guys I don't like this show, but I'm still commenting on this show. And I just a little did a little Oprah piece. So I'm about ready to turn the TV off and find something to watch. Now, the show was still on in the background. And the next story they told was harsh. Now, what you're about to see is fucked up. Excuse my language for the young viewers out there. Apparently, you're about to see a man at McDonald's with his two kids. They walk up to the front of the line, cut these people. The people start defending themselves, and then you'll see what happens. Roll film. Let's go to the Big Mac attack. Cops in Los Angeles are searching for a man who beat up a 16-year-old girl, and it was caught on surveillance tape there at McDonald's. The beating occurred at a Los Angeles McDonald's, and police have released the tapes in hopes of finding the guy that was attacking her. The teen was with her five-year-old niece and a friend when the oh. suspect came in. Oh, my God. Came in with two young boys. He cut the line. The teen started swearing at him, apparently, and the man just begins to just rail at her. Yeah. Now, I truly believe... This old ass bad word needs his ass kicked. These people are saying that they cannot find him. All they know is he left with the two little boys in a red truck. Now he hit that girl in the face. You saw how many times. But the video is mirrored. So you know, when you're looking at it like it's supposed to be, the fight goes from left to right. As you see on this video, it goes from right to left. So, we're going to let you listen to the rest of the interview, or what these folks were saying. I truly think what you've just seen in this video was completely unnecessary by some stupid ass fool. In the face. The, the beating sent the, this girl to the hospital, but she will be okay, the doctors say. The suspect was last seen driving away with two guys in a red pickup the truck. Little, the little boys in yeah, the pickup boys. truck. I mean, thank God they have this surveillance tape. Yeah, I'm amazed they haven't found this guy. I mean, they've got him on tape. They don't have his face clearly, but they know he's in a red pickup truck. And here's the bottom line. This guy decked the teenager because he cut in line in front of her. And so this guy should be charged with assault. And by the way, if he doesn't have custody of those kids, Look visitation should be taken away from him because this is a dangerous man. And yeah. these kids shouldn't have to be with him. Now, I'm a thinking person. You done cut the line and you got your two kids with you. What would somebody have to say to make you flip out like that? He was wrong for cutting in the line. And you can obviously see he ain't no 22, 21 year old dude. What did this girl say that got her wop like that? That's a sociopath that God is dealing with. And unfortunately, in a lot of fast food restaurants, we see bad behavior like that, and it stinks. He's going away for a long time. Arthur, yeah. look at the example he sets for yeah. his own boys. Oh, no. I mean, it's, it's a horrible, horrible way to raise children. Oh, find that guy. We'll keep uh, put up the surveillance tape one more time. Just so anybody out in the city, Los Angeles area knows this guy with the, wearing this outfit. He's got the red pickup truck. He was carrying, uh, walking around with two young boys. Let us know. Okay, okay go back to the phone number there. We want to give out a phone number. Michelle, just run it back right there. Uh, if you have any information about this guy, 877-529-3855. And we'll put number that number again on our website, mnjshow.com. Okay. Now, rewind it to the beginning of the fight again, sir. I... Visitation should be taken run away from him because mo. this is a danger... Now, run it in slow motion and kill the sound. Is there any kind of way we can see her lips moving or anything? Oh, so the video has been cut. Two, three. Apparently it takes three large swings for a fat ass man to knock a 17 year old girl down. Rewind it back. 
Slow mo. One mo. Guy that was attacking her. The team was with her. Bam. She tried to get a kick in, no, he, get it. He, he got some kicks in. Rewind it back, son. Two. Three. And kick. Now look. Do you notice the girl was standing next to her? Uh, uh, back it up again. This is why I wanted to see if anybody saw. Young boy. Now remember? Yes, remember the little girl. It's right next to her. The little girl is getting run over. The little girl got ran over and trampled while her cousin got wop bobble loop bop but wop bop bobble side the head by some grown ass man. I mean what is the world coming to folks? Now I just did two stories in a row. Two separate stories that were featured on this show and I've noticed about this show how the most outrageous and stupid stories contain the same entity and this entity that I'm going to say right now is not that shocking because but some of the other dumb shows they've had man just begins to just realize or they had the same thing being sent by this and this entity Guys in a red pickup is so easy to spot I out think I that confound this a blind man could see it by listening to the content of the stories himself. What the hell is the button I'm looking for? Oh. Hmm. Because Mute. God damn, what the hell these white folks did? So listen, like I'm saying. Ow. The um the entities that I, that I talk about are black people acting stupid. It seems like every time I turn on this show, there's some black people acting stupid. And, you know, just then they're showing two white people about to act stupid or do some they do show white people doing dumb shit too. But the stories that are more outrageous are black people. And to see that black man hit that little girl like that, that was man, that shocked the hell out of me. I thought it was fake at first. This guy's you know. But like I said, when you see a jerk do something like that, a fool, an idiot, just cut you in line. No matter what you say, no matter how bad you want to get, this happens to us. This happens to everybody. It happens to white people, black people. When somebody jumps in line, you say one or two words and you let that shit go. And that's a 17, she's a 17 year old girl. Whatever. Youngsters flip out. She didn't deserve to get hit, kicked. Her little five-year-old cousin didn't deserve to get trampled. Sometimes you got to be the bigger person. Man, you didn't have to cut in front of us. What'd you say? And that's it. I do it at the gas station. I do it when some jerk pulls in front of me in a brand new car. And gets out and go to the pump. I'm like, you know what? What you did was some bitch ass shit. And I walk off. I'm like, what you say? But I'm a grown ass man. What did this girl say? She didn't deserve to get hit. But sometimes, man, adults do not know how to differentiate between a child and an adult anymore. So when that kid popped off at the mouth, rightfully so, what'd you say? I'll run you and your little cousin over. 